the centuries, the cities proved to be the best humankind's hope for economic development and the eradication of poverty around the world. However, the way we develop our cities in Europe and in the United States differs a lot. McKinsey Institute indicated recently that by the 2025, as much as 10% of the global GPD will come from large U.S. cities. As of now, 80% of Americans live in large urban areas as compared to less than 60% in Europe. And the consequences of the phenomenon was that in 2010, 85% of the U.S. GDP was generated by 259 largest cities only. But not every urban development in America, in America or in Poland is, in a, in a, is a success story. Uh, Why cities like New York or Warsaw prospered quite well, some cities like Detroit declined dramatically, although they are working on developing the city of Detroit. In 2008, Detroit's per capita income was around $15,000, which was lower than Poland's. 20,000 20, and about the same as Mexico's 40,700. However, apart from the economic development, we have recently seen that the most successful cities are also those who are active on the international scene and promote themselves to different cultures. Some of the Polish cities, which will be presented today, have already developed close international relations with the American counterparts. For example, the city of Białystok, represented by the mayor of Białystok from Poland, has a cooperation agreement with the city of Milwaukee in Wisconsin. Also, other cities, for example, Knight, has a cooperation agreement with Cleveland in Ohio, and Poznan is partnering with Torino. These examples prove that cities around the world have to be more active on the international scene to remain uh, competitive on the global market and the short international activity of cities needs to include economic cooperation, ongoing endeavors to attract foreign investments, promotion of tourism, and engagement in cultural dialogue and academic cooperation. So what are the recipes for the development of a successful city in Europe and America? Are they infrastructural mega projects, vibrant small businesses, communities for geography and climate. What can the uh, Europeans and the Americans learn from each other? What is the role of ethnic and racial minorities in the development of cities? How can communities like Polish Americans contribute an additional value to the American societies? The goal of our conference is to answer many of those questions today. We want to learn from each other and develop lasting friendship between Polish and American cities. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, enjoy the conference and remember to network with each other so we could have a wonderful follow-up. Thank you very much.